Hi Year 6, um, welcome to Friday's maths lesson. Hopefully you were on our morning call this morning and you've already done um, our maths quiz today. Um, the other thing you should have done um, is you should have already done this um, arithmetic arithmetic test and what I'm going to be doing in this video is going through the answers and um, so if you haven't done the arithmetic test yet and um, can you pause this video now and go and do it and then come back to this video and check your answers along with me okay um, okay, so in question one, we've got something um, equals 6,000 add 90. So basically the question is just saying, what is 6,000 add 90? And the answer we were looking for there was 6,000 and 90. Okay, question two, again, we've got something equals 8,475 plus 90. And again, that question is just saying, what is 8,475 add 90? And the answer we were looking for then was 8,565. Okay, next question we've got what 826 equals 800 add something add 6. We just need to know what that something is. So the missing number there was 20. Um, question four was a short multiplication. I think we're all pretty confident with those now, um, so I won't model to you how to do that. Um, but the answer we were looking for was 184. Okay, question five, um, we had two times 10 times eight. Okay, so first of all, we would do two times 10, which is 20, and then we've got to do 20 times by eight, which gives us the answer 160. Right, question six, five cubed. That meant we had to do five cubed means five times five times five. Okay, that's what five cubed means. So first of all, we do five times five, which is 25, and times that by five, which gives us the answer 125. Question seven, um, we've got a column subtraction. The trick with this one was just lining the digits up in the right place. So we've got 45.72, take away 13.5. Okay, and then I've got to um, do the subtraction. So I've got um, two take away nothing, and I can put the placeholder in there. Two take away nothing is two. 7 take away 5 is 2, decimal point in my answer, 5 take away 3 is 2, and 4 take away 1 is 3. So my answer I was looking for was 32.22. Um, next one, 180 divided by 3. You might have used known facts to do that. You might have done 18 divided by 3 and then added a 0 on the end of your answer, or you might have done it um, using the bus stop method. Um, doesn't matter which way you did it, but the answer we were looking for was 60. Okay, question 9, 0 0.8 divided by 100. Remember, when we divide something by 100, we're just moving the digits. So we've got 0 0.8 and we're dividing by 100. So we're going to move each digit two columns. So I end up with the answer... My 8 doesn't move across one column, it moves across two columns, so I end up with the answer 0 0.008. Okay, question 10 is a bod mass question. It's looking at bod mass. Um, so here we've got brackets and we've also got um, a division. So we need to do the brackets first because the B comes first in bod mass. So we're going to do 30 take away 24, which gives the answer 6. And then we're asking ourselves, what is 60? divided by 6, which gives us the answer 10. Question 11 is another short multiplication. Um, we're looking for the answer 108 for that one. And question 12, we've got one whole one and two thirds add two thirds. So here, first of all, what I would do is I would do, um, I would add the fractions. So two thirds add two thirds gives us four thirds. But remember my whole one, so I've got one whole one and four thirds. Um, now the problem here is that I've got a mixed number, because I've got a whole number and a fraction, but also I've got an improper fraction here. I've got a top heavy fraction. So I'm going to need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. Now four thirds 
it's the same as one and one third. So I need one more whole one and one third. So I've got two whole ones and one third. Um, question 13, I've put quite a few percentage questions on this arithmetic test. And um, we're looking for 35% of 460. Remember to find um, a percentage of an amount. You find 1% and then times by the percentage you want to find. So to find 1%, I divide by 100. So 1% is 4.6. And then I'm going to times that by 35. So 4.6 times 35. Um, and then I'm going to do 5 times 6 is 30, carry my 3, 5 times 4 is 20, add my 3 is 23, um, placeholder 0, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 4 is 12, add my 1 is 13. Right, now I've run out of space here, which is a little bit annoying, and I need to then add those up. Okay, so I've got 0 add 0 is 1. Oh, is, is zero. Um, I'm going to rub that out. That's not very clear, is it? Zero add zero gives me zero. Three add eight gives me 11. So I've got one there and I'd carry my one to the next column. And then I've got two add three add one gives me six. And I've got another one. So my answer um at the moment, I've got 1,610, but I've got to put my decimal point all the way into that answer. So my answer I was looking for was 161. Okay, and I'll just rub out that working out there. Okay, um, 101 times 1,000. Remember, when you're times in by 1,000, you move the digits. Um, and we move them three places um, to the left because we're making it 1,000 times bigger. So we've got 101 um, with three zeros on the end. So the answer we were looking for was 101,000. Question 15. Um, there's two ways I could have done that. I could have either found 1% um, and then times by 20 just like I did with question 13, or I could find 10% and double it. For this one, it's probably easiest to find 10% and double it. So I've got my 3,000. To, to find 10%, I divide that by 10, which gives me 300. So 10% is 300, but I want 20%, so I double that to give me the answer 600. Question 16, I've got one whole one and five eighths take away a half okay before i can do this i would need to make the denominators the same so i'm going to convert this second fraction um to be out of eight so i'm going to write the first fraction out again one and five eighths take that nice and big so it's clear that it's one whole one and five eighths take away right what i've got to ask myself here is what do i times that two by to get an eight for my denominator i'm timesing it by four so I've got to do exactly the same to the top. So on the top, I'm going to times by four. So then I've got one whole one and five eighths. Take away four eighths. Gives me one whole one and one eighth. Um, question 17, we've got one and a half times 50. Okay, remember if it's one and a half times something, do one lot of 50 is 50 and half of 50 is, 70, is 25. Add them together gives me the answer 75. Question 18, um, just like I did with question 16, first of all, I need the denominators to be the same. So I'm looking for a number that is in both the five times table and in the four times table. So um, I'm going to leave my one whole one as it is for now. And then that first fraction, I want to make the denominator 20 because 20 is in the five times table and in the four times table. So to make that denominator for the first fraction 20, I've got to times by 4. So if I'm times in by 4 on the bottom, I've got to times by 4 on the top. So I end up with 1 whole 1 and 4 twentieths. Right, my second fraction, I also want to make it out of 20. And I need to ask myself, what do I times um, that denominator by to give me 20? This time, I've got to times it by 5. So I've times by 5 on the bottom. So have to do the same on the top. 3 times 5 gives the answer 15. 
Right then. Now, it's not quite as straightforward as question 16. Because my problem here, I've got 1 and 4 twentieths take away 15 twentieths. I can't just deal with the fractions. I'm going to have to do an extra step. And I'm going to have to convert this fraction into an improper fraction. So to do that, I do my 1 times 20 and add my 4. So 24 twentieths. Right. Now I've got 24 twentieths take away 15 twentieths. I should be able to do that now because I've done most of the hard work. 24 take away 15 gives me the answer, and I'll have to write the answer over here, 9 twentieths. Okay, question 19 was a long multiplication. Um, the answer we were looking for for question 19 was 572,000. Um, 736. Question 20 was a little mini, um, a mini long division and the answer we we're looking for for that one was 24. Question 21, um, we have got mixed number add a mixed number. Just like with question 18 and question 16, first of all, I've got to make the denominators the same. So here I've got to times by, I've got to times um, one fifth, I've got to times both the bottom and the top by two to make it out of 10. So right, one and one fifth becomes one and two tenths. Add two and one tenth. Right, now I'm going to add my whole numbers together. So I've got one, add two, it gives me three whole ones. And then I'm going to deal with my fractions. Two tenths, add one tenth, gives me three tenths. Okay, question 22, 35% of 320. Um, just like with question 13, I would need to find 1% first of all. Remember, I do that by dividing by 100. So 1% is 3.2. Then I do 3.2 times by 35. And the answer I was looking for was 112. Question 23, another percentage of amount question. Okay, I'd find 1% first of all, which is 9. And then do 9 times by 51 to give me the answer 459. Okay, question 24, I've got one and three quarters times 10. Right, this is quite a tricky question and one you might have struggled with a little bit. Okay, one and three quarters times 10. There's two different ways of doing this. The first way you could do it is you could do one times 10 is 10 and then three quarters of 10. What is three quarters of 10? And some of you might know that three quarters of 10 is 7.5. So one times 10 is 10, add my 7.5 gives me the answer 17.5. That's one way of doing it. Or, what you might have done is first of all turn this uh, mixed number into an improper fraction. So I turn this into an improper fraction and do, remember I do 1 times 4 and add my 3. So I'd end up with 7 quarters. And then I've got 7 quarters times by 10. We do questions like that all the time a fraction times a whole number. And remember, when it's a fraction times a whole number, I always say t for times, t for top number. So it's a top number that changes. So if you do 7 times 10, gives you 70. And that denominator stays the same, which is a 4. OK, so you could have had either 17.5 or 70 quarters. Either one would get you the mark if it was a test. OK, and the final question then, question 25, the trickiest question on the test, perhaps. Um, we've got 5, 6 times by 540. Um, we've been doing questions this week in our um, daily arithmetic where it says, what is 5, 6 of 540? Um, it means exactly the same. It's just a different way of, sh of writing it. So I would do it in exactly the same way, especially when it's a big number like 540 rather than a, a small number like 5 or 10 or something like that. So 
Um, it's basically saying what is 5 6 of 540. Now, to find a fraction of an amount, you probably know because we've been doing it in our arithmetic this week, you divide by the denominator and then times by the numerator. So we've got 540 divided by 6. So how many 6 is going to 5? 0. Then I'm asking myself, how many 6 is going to 54? Which is 9. And then how many sixes into zero is zero. So I've divided by six, which gives me the answer 90. And then I need to do 90 times by five. Okay, which I'm just going to do nine times five and add a zero on the end. Nine times five is 45. And add my zero gives me the answer 450. Okay, year six. Um, there was 25 questions there. Um, a couple of them would have been out of two marks. Um, which ones? Question 19 would have been out of two marks. Question 20 would have been out of two marks. Um, so there were 27 possible marks available to you there. Um, add up your score um, and let us know how you got on. All right, that's our last bit of maths for this week. Um, remember, if you need any help with anything or you're not sure why you got a question wrong, um, you have always got the checking calls to ask us. But otherwise, I will see you in next week's maths lesson on Monday. Have a nice weekend.